Hey, it is Kenny from Kenny's Audio File Record Views. Thank you very much for viewing my channel. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. In this uh, video, I'm going to do a, a review and an opinion on this uh, George Benson, The Other Side of Abbey Road album. I did a, a review of the George Benson White Rabbit album, and, and one of my uh, viewers commented that this is one of his um, favorite George Benson albums. One of my viewers, I'm going to give a shout out to Shirtless Audiophile. That's his name. And um, one of my fabulous and loyal viewers. I really appreciate you. But this is a very interesting album. I'm going to get to it. But before that, I thought I'd quickly show you the George Benson albums in my collection. It's going to be real quick. I'll go as quick as I can. It's not that many. Um, but I know there's a lot of George Benson lovers out there. I did a review of this album. And I'll leave a link in the uh, description below the White Rabbit album. This is one of my favorite George Benson albums of all time. Give Me the Night. <clears throat> George Benson. Twice the Love album. George Benson cookbook. A great LP. Weekend in L.A. George Benson, Lou Benson, George Benson 2020, this is just a George Benson collection, LP, I don't know how well it's coming out in the video because of the lighting, but it's like a, I guess a, um, a best of record set, George Benson and Earl Clue, Uptown, the George Benson Quartet. Living Inside Your Love. Good King. Bad King. Actually says, yeah, just Good, yeah, good King Bad is the name. Not Good King Bad King, but Good King Bad. Take five, George Benson, cast of jazz greats, George Benson, body top, this is the last one. I have this and this is a stereo version, I also have the uh, quadraphonic version. Now, this George Benson, uh, Other Side of Abbey Road album came out in 1970, and it is George Benson take on the songs from the Famous Beatles, Abbey Road album. This is an American pressing of an album. And these two are, this is the LP box set. The reissue, the deluxe edition, uh, Abbey Road anniversary box set. And this one is the, no, that one I just showed you was a CD and this one's an LP box set. 50th anniversary uh, edition box sets. Those Beatles reissue box sets are amazing, by the way. I highly recommend them. But getting to this one, like I said, this issued in 1970. And I have a question for my viewers. This is a pressing I have. This is on the AM level, A and M uh, label. Now, I think I'm not sure that that. CTI Records at one time was a subsidiary of A&M Records. And then after that, they branched off into their own company. I'm not sure. sure. So maybe somebody who's knowledgeable about CTI Records can, um, you know, educate me and the audience on that uh, topic. Because this particular pressing, and I don't, I'm not so sure if, if it's original pressing or not is on the A&M uh, label, and this is not a gatefold uh, LP like uh, so a lot of the CTI records normally are. This is just a standard LP cover. It's not a gatefold LP cover. So the songs on the LP are Golden Slumbers, You'll Never Give Me Your Money, Because Come Together, Oh Darling, here comes the sun. I want you. She's so heavy. That's a great song. One of my favorite Beatles songs. 
something, Octopus's Garden and the End. I'm going to briefly uh, give a mention to some of the songs on this record, but this is a um, like a jazz soul funk record, and it is a George Benson's take on Abbey on the Abbey Road uh, album, and I love this album cover, by the way. Their take on the uh, Abbey Road cover, and the the fir first thing that came to my mind when I, I had listened to this record quite some time, it's been a part of my collection for quite some time. And the first thing that came to my mind is what was George Benson thinking when he took on this project, taking on Beatles songs? And I don't mean that in a negative way. You know, I don't mean that in a negative way of all, you know, it's uh, you think it will be a challenging effort and a different effort uh, from a, um, at the time jazz musician okay so that's what i mean by that specifically but like i said it's a, a jazz soul funk record and i think it is um actually very well done personally um the song you know golden slumbers you know benson sings on this record by the way this is 1970 and i i, I don't know the history of his uh george benson singing but uh I assume this is one of his earliest efforts. I don't know. And maybe the audience can, uh, you know, inform us about that as well. But on the song uh, Golden Sl uh, Slumbers, you know, it's a fabulous song uh, with vo uh, Benson's vocals with strings uh, and, a, and a harpsichord section as well. A string section, a harpsichord section. And his vocals, and it, 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 the harps harpsichord is, near, is at the end of the song. But his singing with the strings is actually pretty good. I actually like uh, his version of Golden Slumbers. The song, uh, You Never Give Me Your Money, is almost like an easy listening, funk, jazz version of the song. And again, I like his take on that song. It's, it's actually quite pleasing. By the way, I'll leave the links to all these songs in the description below. Uh, because... Uh, the next song, because and come together, they're um, they're really the same cut on the album, and it has a nice, very nice uh, Benson solo and saxophone solo as well on that song, and I like the string section and harpsichord uh, playing on uh, because and come together. Actually, pretty nice. Uh, the song, oh darling is like a uh is a great vocal effort by benson and it has a quite good big band sound to it it has a you know it has a very nice big band sound to it along with very good vocals by benson here comes the sun is just straight up a beautiful inter interpretation of the beatles version of the song and it's uh, mixed well with strings. I just love it. It's just a beautiful version of the song. My favorite uh, song on this album by far is I Want You, She's So Heavy. And that's one of my favorite Beatles song, any, see, songs anyway. But I love Benson's singing on the song. And then it goes into this great funk soul groove. And it has like a, um, you know, great solo by Benson and Freddie Hubbard. I should mention the, the players on this album, some of the uh, players of note anyway, not all of them. Herbie Han on piano, organ, and harpsichord, or Herbie Hancock, Ernie Hayes, and Bob James. On bass, you know, Ron Carter is one of the bass players, actually two bass players on the album. On drums, uh, Idris Muhammad. Uh, percussion, Ray Barreto, um, what we have here, saxophone, we have three, uh, actually, yeah, alto sax, you have uh, uh, Don Ashworth uh, on sax, uh, Sonny Fortune on sax, uh, Joan Rip, uh, Richardson on sax, um, you have uh, Freddie Hubbard on trumpet, so it is... Um, has some pretty major players on this record. It really does. And the last song on the record 
is the end. And it's a fabulous um, instrumental version of the song. Uh, just a fabulous soul funk instrumental of the song, The End. All in all, this record, um, I give the the performance probably like an 8.5. The sound didn't blow me away. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. The sound, I probably give like, gosh, maybe a 7 or 7.5 max. All in all, 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 I love the uh, the performance, uh, Benz's performance and his interpretations uh, from the um, Beatles' Abbey Road album. Like I said, I'd probably give it the effort, maybe 8.5, 8, 8.5, and the sound 7, 7.5. Please leave your comments in the comment section below on this album. Um... I really appreciate it. It was mixed fairly well. It just, like I said, the sound just didn't blow me away. It, it wasn't, it wasn't grand or great. It was, it was, it was okay. But like I said, the, um, I thought Benson's take on his songs were actually quite good to, it's, it's sometimes fabulous. But leave, please leave your comments in the comments section below on this album. Like I said, I'll leave the links to all the songs in the description below. Thank you very much for viewing. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. God bless, strong love, and peace to all.